So you just got the iOS 26 update on your iPhone. These are some settings that you should change as soon as possible after updating your iPhone. iOS 26 introduced a brand new liquid glass design, but if you're not a fan of that liquid glass and you're having readability issues, you can try out this setting that is in accessibility. Then tap on display and text. Here you'll see the reduce transparency option. Just turn on this option and liquid glass will now be gone, bringing back that frosted glass design. Then I have a setting related to battery life. For that, go to settings, then tap on battery. Here we have a brand new option called power mode. Just tap it and turn on adaptive power. This option is available for Apple intelligence supported iPhones. When this option is turned on, your iPhone will make performance adjustments and it'll extend your battery life. Then the next setting is related to the camera. For that, in settings, tap on camera. Now scroll down and you'll see this option that says lens cleaning hints. Turn on this option and next time your iPhone has a dirty lens, you'll be notified to clean the lens. It'll help you to avoid that lens flare and get cleaner, sharper shots. Then once again in camera settings, we have another new option called indicators. Turn on all these options in indicators such as flash, live photo, and action mode. These options will be shown in your camera app at the top right. You can access and change them with a single tap. So definitely check out this option. You can now resize the clock. This is really handy for those people who were struggling to read the time on their lock screen. Simply long press on your lock screen and tap on clock. Then drag from the edge and resize the clock according to your preference. Also, you can create some amazing 3D wallpapers for the lock screen. For that, tap here on this small icon and make a spatial 3D scene of your wallpaper. You can do this with all other photos in your photo library by tapping on this small icon right here. Next, if you use CarPlay with your iPhone, then you can also take screenshots of your CarPlay screen. For that, simply go to Settings, then General, and now tap on Screen Capture. If you want those screenshots from CarPlay, then turn on this option right here. Next setting that you should check out is regarding messages. I always keep this one setting on, and that way I keep all those unknown messages away from my inbox. So in messages, scroll down and make sure this setting is enabled that says screen unknown senders. After that, tap on allow notifications and make sure this first option is also enabled. This way you can still get verification codes as they are from unknown senders. In the same way, you can use a new option in iOS 26 and that is screen unknown callers. Just go to the phone app and scroll down. You'll see this option. Now turn on ask reason for calling. In this way, you can avoid all those unnecessary spam calls. Another setting that is turned off by default with iOS 26 is the character preview. To turn it back on, simply go to settings, then search for keyboard, and now turn on character preview. Finally, with iOS 26, now you can change the duration of snooze and alarm from one minute all the way up to 15 minutes. So this is something that you should know about with iOS 26. If you have AirPods, now you can capture images just using them. Open your AirPods and go to Settings, tap on AirPods, and scroll down. You'll see Camera Remote. Just tap it and choose Press Once. Now press the stem of your AirPods to take a shot. So, those were some settings that you should definitely check out after installing iOS 26 on your iPhone. Let me know about your favorite setting, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.